I'll remove you one. Whoa. <gasps> River comes. Wow, this is just like I know it uh what's that game? <laughs> a way out. Yes. <gasps> this is an a way out reference. This whole Whoa. podcast it's like... just a way out reference. <laughs> I'm Leo oh. and you're Vincent, the pig. Oh, I'm an... <laughs> um, welcome to uh, I'll do it properly. Welcome to Gaming Gamers. The game show. What's that a game show? It's a game a show about games happening every Thursday or when we feel like it. It's me, River, Cruz, and um, Andrew and John Bernardo. He's going to come in later. He's the biggest star of the show. He is yeah. the Andy Richter to Red Alderos Conan O'Brien. You know? <laughs> um, I ran out of steam. I want to kill myself. What are we talking about tonight? <laughs> about, oh, what? you know what? I'll lay out you. Um, what do you call this? The what do you call it? Kapag you when like there's a games games as a service and a roadmap. I'll re- lay oh, out. Oh, you're the laying roadmap. out the roadmap. <laughs> okay. Roadmap. So first for the battle part, pass. Yeah. For the ba- I do yung intro. It's the intro is like you know, it's movable. It's like anyone else can do it every other week, right? But usually it's yeah. either me or Andrew, and then one of us says na parang hey. How was your weekend? And then we talk about your weekend for half of the podcast. Yeah, that's the, the first hour and 20 minutes is just our weekend. Then the last five is about video games. And I uh, know, like a good third of that is just River going, you know, I grinded myself, your character, <laughs> yeah. Dragon Quest. I haven't played Dragon Quest today, surprisingly. What? Yeah, no. Are you like a no? Are you like getting new shakes? Like, parang um. Yeah, I was with, getting like, withdrawal. alcoholics. Don't withdraw. <laughs> yeah. my my vision started to double. I started seeing slimes everywhere. <laughs> you need to see your Toriyama designs, from oh. <laughs> I look at some Dragon Ball fan art. Yeah, that that's the stuff. That's I got a quick stuff. fix. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Put a new. Anyway, um. Oh, here here comes. Here comes Comes Andrin. Hello, all dressed in black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how are you guys doing? (laughs) Um, Before River, when when before River came on stream, I was doing JoJo poses in front of him webcam. So that was embarrassing. The flamboyant poses. I was doing you. I know. Look at look at foreground and background. Hi. Oh, you got pop. What you eating there? What's that? And then I'll just munch a bit because this is my dinner now. So. Oh, wow. I'm, get, I'm getting back on my diet. Oh. Yeah. Cinema diet. Pop, pop nice. part's good, you know. Um, I need to be hot for it. For, you know, yeah. you're good. Reunion namin sa high school reunion namin sa 18. Oh. So I need yeah. to look hot in front of my mm. high school best. You, you'll show them, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you know, like wait, wait, I don't know wait, if wait. it's just me. What? Go ahead, sorry. Oh yeah, I just have to say, but as Adrian is, I need to look hot for the reunion namin sa 18. Not for the ano comedy show that you're gonna do on January 7. No, dude. For yeah, comedy, yeah. the bigger the better, dude. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. I need my fat joke, so I get. I need to get in. I know into like yeah. shape. Did we do the bit now when uh, we pretended to be interested in each other's weekends? <laughs> almost, almost there. <laughs> almost there. So, <laughs> okay, um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Weekends, guys. I I don't know why. Like as soon as you ask me that question, every week, it uh, without fail, I forget my entire weekend. I don't. It's just so strange. It's like an MIB situation. Oh, I'll start. Yeah. I'll start Go ahead. You start. Oh, Kick us off. I uh. I went over to the nephew's house call, and I wanted to play a uh, um, yung whole campaign of Halo with him. And pero yung, yung problem ko is I introduced Super Hot to him, so like every thirty minutes, like ano, Tito Jr. Can I play Super Hot? It's like no, I spent three thousand on, on a controller. You're gonna kill some grunts. <laughs> good, good, good dude. Like, is it Super Hot a little bit hard for like ilang eight ilang taon na ba yun? He's fucking good at it. Oh my. <laughs> So good at it. I love that game, but I died a thousand times in that game. There's I game. mean, he he gets through it. You mind control delete. Like he's 
He's more than competent. He's more than competent sa shooters, dude. Like, para the funny thing is, this generation of kids, like, they don't use yung D pad. They use the stick. Dude, you know, yeah. Stuff. Do you remember like the first memory of you ever trying to get used to an analog stick? Because I still remember. It. It yeah, that, was a, was a that's a good one. Me, where you yeah. had to twirl it, yeah. I used to play twisted metal on the D-pad like a fucking psychopath before it got. Yeah, Same. yeah, no, because no, like, ano, pag magre-rent ka, you always had your shitty... Yeah, you know, walang analog. You do, yeah. Not the dual shocks, yeah. Yeah, like, just the regular. It took me so long to finally get used to the analog. I was playing like this sh- game, the Shrek game of the first Shrek movie. <laughs> okay. And like you can play it with a D-pad, but it just it's better with an analog and it, I kind of like forced Xbox? myself to learn it. I, I think it was on regular sure. Xbox. Or yeah, I don't know. It was, like one it was also on PS1. Or I vividly remember it being Only on PS1. PS1 version. Like when yeah. like yung, when yung cross-gen versions were like looked cross-gen talaga. Yeah, they yeah. have to run on both old and next-gen consoles <laughs> to make the most profit. <laughs> when you played your previous generation's version, you felt so poor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Such a piece of shit. Or you were just a Wii owner and you got the previous generation anyway because it couldn't run. <laughs> Which ah, is me. That was me. That, that was basically <laughs> yung, yung weekend. Oh, uh, you but, know what? Yeah. I, I appreciate the super hot. Na... Oh, okay. This is a weird, a weird thing. So, like, your nephews are super into Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yeah. But not it's the a, game. It's the new it's... Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, oh, there's okay. a lot of videos but on... But it's like parang, old cartoons. Yeah, it's like they're... And then he got mad at me because I said, na, you know, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Bendy isn't a real old cartoon. And he he had like an existential crisis. <laughs> parang, what? Bendy lied to me? And then he kept shooting me sa Halo in revenge for <laughs> Bendy. It felt shitty. Like, stop shooting at me. It's just you the truth. You rocked his worldview. I, I, I wasn't even trying to be a dick. It's like, you know, it's not real. And then I showed him like a bunch of Felix cartoons. Like, this is boring. <laughs> you know, Real life is boring. Yeah. Yeah, then, you know, I, I yeah, remember I... my weekend now. Um, okay. I, there's a new documentary series that Peter Jackson released uh, about the Beatles called Get Back. Oh. So in the era when the Beatles were making uh, Let it, the Let It Be album... Yeah. Uh, they struck a deal with a network television guy that they were gonna film every moment of them making that album, like every moment they were in the studio, it was filmed every second. So there's like 150 hours of footage that they never released because they oh, that's, they, wa- that's they watched like it a, back and they that's realized. Like a mid-tier Ubisoft game, 150 hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not even like all the way. And they, they didn't like it. They didn't like like seeing them because they were like fighting. Oh. There was genuine tension. Because that was after that, the band <laughs> broke up after that album. Oh, so it was, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cause um, I, I think is it similar to like Metallica's Some Kind of Monster? They yeah, also have yeah. Like, that, that fucking talking was so sad because it, like, it was sad. Because it got yeah, it, exactly. it Lars Ulrich, and then see James Hetfield was like, I'm tired of this abusive yeah, dude, relationship. Ulrich, yeah, he's such it an like asshole. That? It was yeah, it's, yeah. okay, but it's a British version of that. So like, <laughs> what happens is, it's like, not um, yeah, we're, they're they're kind of passive aggressive to each other. So like, uh, George Harrison is doing like a riff, like, oh, did, did did you mean this? Is this what you wanted, Paul? And then Paul like, Paul is like, no, we first you stop playing first. We need to like be quiet for a second and plan out the song. But George Harrison like, no, that's not how I do it because I I play the song and then I find the music in in what I do like that. So like they work differently, and it's weird because I'm like, this is your last album, haven't you like worked it out already? I hate it because yeah. I do we call something and I use it for parang Jack Black's like I'm being impish and and wild. <laughs> yeah, basically, like George was Jack Black, and then at the end of the first and each episode, so there's three episodes. Uh, Peter Jackson was able to like tie together all this footage. Some of it was reenacted to make it feel, and then like he oh. made it so. That was it, it like looked Andy high again? definition. Yeah. No, it was. He made. I don't know how he did it, but he made the old footage look like high def and like in a higher frame rate. So okay. it it looks real. It looks like you're actually. And it's it it's so bizarre seeing them so young again. But at the end of the first episode, like George leaves the Beatles out of nowhere, and then there's like footage of his diary, and then it says like April twenty yeah, second. Yeah. yeah, he died. He overdosed, yeah. but like it's much later. 
He wrote like April, oh, April yeah, something something. I he George had Harrison. Cancer. Yeah, I thought he had brain cancer. Oh, maybe he had cancer. Yeah. Maybe he overdosed, he overdosed on, cancer. on cancer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bro, bro. <laughs> And it just says in his diary, like, April, blah, blah, blah. I left the Beatles today. Like that. Like, it's just like a casual thing. And then the episode ends. Yeah. It, it was like two hours, too. Like, that one episode, like, two hours. It's just, just, yeah, it was, most of my weekend I was watching that because it was so long. But I was so fascinated by it. Because, like, uh, there's this one part where John Lennon makes a, a dick joke. Um, there's this song called I Got a Feeling. And then John's like, John died. He got John shot died. in the middle of Yung Dick Joke by si, ano, si Jared Leto. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, since so, wala, wala pa si River, like, ano yung uh, fat, anong era ng Beatles in time? Like, clean cut pa sila, or like, they were all drugged out. I like the uh, cleaner oh, one. I like, I like the older one it's section. That, it's that, I've watched that, I read the VCD of Yung um, movie where they're just impish lads running around i forget yeah. what that was called a hard day's night i think that was you know aaron the bottom yeah were, i love they those were ba- they were basically bottom um just dick samos or something <laughs> <laughs> see him later years so long with they all took drugs grew facial hair yeah. Yeah. i, I like back- so do- i like so do it come see how see jason schwartzman played see i know see si ringo star your contribution you know is like I made a song about an octopus. I'm even to bit lang dun sa Dewey Cox right off my head. You drugs, don't oh, try yeah. we do. It's the cheapest drug there is. There's no, <laughs> no side effects. Like so, we, me and my friend got high to that movie all the time, and yeah. then we smoke weed and just parang just para, it's the cheapest drug there is, and then we eat we eat so much McDonald's watching Dewey Cox. Anyway, oh, yeah. you were saying. And then that was you it. I'm basically joke. like, you dig yeah, joke, okay. dude. Oh, Sorry. The dig joke, so there's a song called you "I've you Got a Feeling." Yeah, us. George Harrison's like, what's the name of the song again? Because Paul just made the song on the spot, and then it's called "I've Got a Feeling." But then John's like, it's it's got I've got a hard on like that. And then after that, of the in the bridge, he goes like, everybody's got a hard on like that. And then like they eventually made the actual bridge as they went on. I was like, wow, are these, these are just person? four. Oh, no. <laughs> he disappeared again. You know, I thought he, I thought John Lennon was gonna say, "But what's the Hello, name of the I'm song back. again?" I, Dragula. Yeah. Oh, I dig through the ditches and burn to the witches. I can do a British <laughs> accent. <laughs> it's so weird that we think like the the Beatles British accent better like something like um see Lemmy right? I don't think British accent when I think of uh, I think gravelly. Like, hey. Yeah, I think of like I think he's from the south, but he's he's British. I'm so surprised he was British. Yeah, I wanna ask right, like that, that's River. Just I, I wanna ask River now. You, I asked this yep. guy to sell like. Oh I, come I, on! I, what the hell? He's dying. We can hear you. Uh. You might say something racist. We can talk. Yeah. Okay. When when the river goes away, we just go into slurs for yeah, a okay. solid thirty minutes. <laughs> go ask a question. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna ask you, any favorite era of the Beatles? Some clean cut pasila, or when they were all doing lots of drugs? Oh, um, definitely around the middle part. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. My favorite Beatles album is the White Album, where they basically just made two albums and put it together, and that okay, was definitely okay. a heavy drug moment for them. So probably around okay. that era. I get so annoyed by you know, um, White Album stuff in the sense now. I was listening to Norwegian Wood, walking so. Nagpunta ako 7-Eleven na kay kinig kong Beatles, okay? And then, it's like Norwegian would parang, this sounds like the most fucking college thing ever. I fucking want to yeah. kill myself. It's <laughs> yeah. annoying. It's like, I'm with a girl and we're sitting on her, on her, ano, studio on her apartment. Floor. And she doesn't, yeah. apparently she doesn't have furniture. And then parang, I'm just drinking her wine. And then, like, it's just, I think of every person I was with some of our writing guilds during college, and I want to shoot. <laughs> That's exactly them. Stuff. That's why Murakami this. named his novel Norwegian yeah. Wood because he knew oh, he knew who oh, he was oh, marketing oh. to. <laughs> he should, you know, that guy. He's the running author, Diva. He loves running. He should run off a cliff. That's my contribution <laughs> to literature. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. All right. How about you, Andrew? How was your weekend? Um, my friend from. Uh... Uh, Amuisha, 
like he was just here for like uh, a week from Manila because uh, uh, the guy I grew up with, he's a lawyer now. And dito siya, hey, dude, punta tayo sa bahay mo, tapos maglaro tayo ng old PlayStation games. Awesome. There's like a couple of fucks, dude, old people who can't let nice. go of the past. <laughs> Pero we play Street Fighter Alpha 3. That's so, the best one. That's my favorite yeah. one. And, you know, hindi kami fighting experts uh, in any sense or form. Pero, dude, I'm here going in 360 motion sa D-pad, no? Like, if, we, <laughs> if you're playing Zangief, you might as well just lose. Because yeah. you can't do any of this shit. Like, so intimidating. Yeah, you remember those things, those arcades, yung, like, 720 degree rotation to stick. Like, how yeah, can you do that? Yung, so far? Ano, sometimes they use your T-shirt para... Yeah. Right? I used to spit. I would spit in my. That's what I do. I, I use my shirt. I would, yeah. lick, I would lick my thumb. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. That's why there's yeah. this fucking COVID going around. Yeah. Street Fighter fans. Anyway, sorry. But I, I want to know, love. <laughs> I want to know, like, you mga cosmetics, like for example, Vega. Kung natanggal ba yung fucking face niya, yung face shield niya, like you'll you'll take more damage, or is it just cosmetic? I think it's just cosmetic, but I know the claw. I know the claw. Yeah, oh, the claw. Like, I know yeah, yeah. does less damage when you break it. I think I know yeah, that. Yeah. 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 I don't know about the mask. Love... That's a good question because I know in Soul Calibur that's how it works. You can break their armor mm-hmm. and make them nude, and then they take more damage. Yeah. yeah. I kept saying, I... guys, yung mga lumang comics, yung Kick Fighter comics, and then mm-hmm. yung pangalan ni Vega there is Kikeru or something. I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> Kikeru. <Yeah. laughs> And sabi rin ng kaibigan ko kasi like interested in chess of fighting games pero he doesn't play in any competitions but nam- namamatay na daw yung charge characters kasi may, may inherent flaw daw sa game design yung charge character like charge character like in this na quarter circle forward diba yung si Guile charge character siya diba charge backward is forward this much is uh-huh. oh. so i know like the, the, yung para na sa sense na kagad kung pro Fighting game player. Oh, this he's this guy's going for Sonic kick. Oh, he's kasi, about to charge. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think because kung yung mga yung mga Dragon Punch, yung mga uh, quarter circle forward, pan unpredictable pa rin. Because you can do it in any hmm. situation. In like a split second, what, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I just heard. There's and, too much of a lead up than some charge character, so it's yeah. like. Wow. So, we played Street Al- Fighter Alpha Three. And basically, in the weekend, ko, I played a little bit more of Cyberpunk. Okay, I'll talk about Cyberpunk. Okay. <laughs> the Cyberpunk <laughs> Power Hour. Um, basically, you can make your character there a melee character, just like in Fallout, diba? Mm-hmm. Like, you can just basically yeah. ditch, ditch the guns. So, I just installed, like, Gorilla Arms for my character. Is that it's what just, it's called? It's called Gorilla Arms. That's fucking awesome. And I'm just fucking everyone up, dude. Oh yeah, cyberpunk pa rin. Wala pa ako sa main story. Like, tinatapos ko lang sa side quests. <laughs> Wait, okay, man. I started, I started the game. Yeah, I started dude, the like, game. Yeah, yeah, I wanna hear your opinions on it. Um, what? wait, I want I want to know what route you took in the beginning. Because there's Nomad, Street, I nomad. whatever. I, okay. I, I picked Nomad. You. I picked... Oh. I pick Corpo, the corporate guy. Mm-hmm. What's your intro like? Because I got kind of confused at the beginning. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But like, basically how my game starts is, oh, you're a corporate guy. You get a call from your boss and it's like, uh, oh, so-and-so fucked us over. They, they blah, blah, blah. And I don't understand like the business speak. And it's like, come here to the office right now. And then you go to the office and then you're talking to your boss. And then your boss is looking at like a Zoom call of all the other like boards of executives. And then, like, he presses a, a button that sets a timer, and then their heads explode. And I feel like I missed Tell- something there. Yeah, he, it's okay. Does that happen to you? How does that work? Oh, mine is totally different when I started. Uh, I w- I'm going to deliver a package to a certain person. Are you so a street kid? So it's, I start with driving. Have you ever? Oh. Yeah. I drove now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, it feels pretty good, actually. I'm surprised by how good it feels. But yeah, so far, I all I did was uh, I did most of the tutorials. I did... I haven't done a quest at all. I just kind of walked around because the game is so gorgeous. It does a good, it does a good job of making you feel really small in a really dense city. Like I look mm-hmm. up, and there's like bridges on bridges, and then there's cars flying, and it it, it just I don't know. If you, they did a good job with that at least. So I'm someone, just kind of just soaking it in very slowly. 
Someone explained to me that it feels like Manila, yung density. Yeah, honestly, because it you feel so ano, almost insignificant, like because life is happening around you. Yeah, but I haven't gotten that far. Basically, I got like a chip from a dead woman. Not that she's dying. She wasn't dead. I got her from the tub, and then I got her chip, and then Dude, I think I got a when virus. When I first, I first played that mission. Wow, this game, like it's kind of jarring seeing that now. Like dead bodies oh, in yeah. the tub. Oh. Yeah. Oh Isn't my god. That prostitute yeah. lady. She, I don't know if she was a prostitute. Up? She was. She wasn't. I think she was like a business lady or something. Basically, because uh-huh. they do this thing where they do a time skip and then suddenly you're a bounty hunter, right? Is that what, if, yeah. if I understand? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't get that. I was like, oh wow, I'm a bounty hunter now. And then they, you already suddenly know all these characters. But I get why they did that because they wanted to get you to jump straight into it so that you don't yeah. have a long like lead time. But yeah, I'm, I'm just there like after that mission. So mm-hmm. I'll play a bit later after this podcast maybe but so far did i'm interested guys, i i like it can, you, can you describe your characters to you like did you guys get big dicks oh like a huge okay vagina? yeah what's what's your what's your build like and then just talk so about the penis so, <laughs> so uh, hey so now because um it's a playstation uh censored your penis filter so i don't know why like don't but say oh river let's get to the bottom of these issues yeah oh uh, i just wore a boxers man <laughs> i didn't want to look at my guy's dick for too long <laughs> What? I'm gonna look at my. I don't know. No, I, I'm no, a no, play girl. So PS4 version, I'm gonna censor this. So boo. What really, dude? Yeah. I was like, I was like broad daylight at like 12 in the afternoon. My parents were just downstairs. Like I'm gonna make my character, and it's just like a, <laughs> just a uh, a cock right okay. there on the like, screen. That's like watching and I was a like, fucking Oops. R-rated movie with your parents. Yeah, and it's not just that. There's like, there's like different vaginas. There's like all these. This whole Christ. thing. Yeah, yeah, they show everything. Sakin censor the why is that? Can like, you turn it off? Thing? Maybe you can yeah. turn it off. Maybe you have your kitty settings turned on for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby mode on. You got parental lock. Damn, that. Kailang kailang ba may blood code para maturn on? I don't know. Yeah, you did the Konami code to turn <laughs> on the blood. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. dick code. So it's, basically, it's just you, all there. Yeah. I was so excited to play the game. I didn't care about my character. <laughs> Wow. I just, well, I you, mean, don't just... it, eh? you don't see yeah, it. You don't see it. First, I mean, it's first person view, lah. Yeah, you see it when you drive, and when you obviously when you look at the mirror. But like other than that, it's just like a gun it's or your fu- right hand. It's fucking wild. No, wala pa yung online yeah, because it's supposed to have online. I forgot. Yeah, about that. actually, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited for that actually because I, I'm, I want to see how other people make their guys look like because you can really customize yeah. your your guy. Yeah, and I. What what are your stats like? Because I made my guy oh. like not that strong, but I made him really really smart. Like he can hack oh. guys just by looking at them. He made That's amazing. actually where I took most of my time. Eh? Like I looked at the stats. <laughs> ano ba yung play style ko? So yung body niya maxed out, pati yung reflexes maxed out. So nice. more of That's a cool. fighter build. So, yeah. I want my guy you to like be. Say, a, you a, like a, Major Kusanagi, a Ghost in the Shell. Just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I want my guy and, to be a just, huge, like, wimpy, puss guy, corporate, <laughs> no spine, slimy, gross man. I wanted that. I wanted to roleplay as that guy, so I made him really weak. And <laughs> I'm having a hard time. But I, <laughs> but I, but, but if you have enough of that, I'm still figuring out how the hacking works. It's pretty cool. It's kind of better than Watch Dogs, honestly, because it has, it's basically like in Fallout, you have the AP, the attack points for doing VATs. But this one, it's for hacking. And then you can spend a certain amount. And then it can either recharge over time or you can refill it if you do certain actions. Like if you kill someone, you can refill it. So I, I made my guy have like the, the chip that lets it refill faster. So all I do is I look at people and I make their heads explode. But if yeah. I get too close to them, I like die in like two hits. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah. That's actually I know, really I great love about it. this game. Like, I want to try an intelligence building. I'm thinking of creating a new character. Hindi masakit ko sa mga larong ito, River, like kung sa Skyrim, yeah. sa Paul, hmm, ano kayo kung ibang playstyle susubukan ko without even finishing the game? Like, I'm considering uh, going back to the start. Eh? Pa, ano kaya kung intelligence build? I'm not, I'm totally not that guy. Like, para I get so frustrated with just one run. I want, that's why, you know, partly that's why I got your Xbox. It's like, I'm gonna figure out this Western RPG thing. Kasi like, I've never... I mean, the JRPG stuff I know, but like you know, 
It's like, I want to learn how to Skyrim. But no. the problem There's a lot of Western RPGs on Game Pass. Like, I, I talked about yeah. Wasteland already, but they have they have the Pillars of Eternity games. They have... Um, well, let's they not go Divinity. crazy. I, I'm just yeah. going with yung first, ano, yung, I'm going with Cyberpunk, Witcher, and then Fallout New Vegas. Yun ang muna. I'm okay. Yeah, those are those are good stuff. three. Good, yeah, good really first good. three. I saw I saw a trailer for Outer World Worlds too. Is I'm it still a? Is it still a low? Already? They're planning a second one, so yeah. oh. I'm I'm wondering if it's a, a lower studio or do they have budget now? Because I like the first one, but you can see that it's you could yeah. Man, Obsidian isn't polished. Bethesda, yeah. Well, they like, got bought out by I think I know I think freaking Microsoft, Microsoft bought them, make them right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm excited for that. I I, I think yeah, I mean that you saw what happened with Psychonauts like. They they were like peddling for cash to make Psychonauts too with like Kickstarter and what. And then Microsoft game. swooped in. I know it's it got so snubbed in the game award. It got snubbed, but at the same time, it's like you didn't do well making the game, so that's why you kind of wasted some money. Better than it's a good game. I don't know. I'm people, judging people. People are, are saying way. that the ga- game awards are staged. Because eh? say, look, it's a big corporate thing to buy in game awards, and this indie darling one, and they meant to do it. So magkakaroon daw ng street cred in game awards and giving like awards to like, oh man. That's Think that's the Oscars, then but, you know. Yeah, a, they give it to like this that. is a movie about racism. Give it to them, oh, my yeah. God. So I, I get that. I mean, uh, there's a lot of politics to go like, with these award but shows, it, especially if it, it's sponsored. To be fair, I think it makes sense because it takes two isn't like the most popular game. Tapos you're gonna give it to like, you know, honestly, lahat ng mga uh, games this year like they're not the most popular games. <laughs> I, you know, so it's yeah. like I don't know which one was the most popular there. Out of all the game of the year ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Resident Evil was there for a while. Like, Big Booby Lady was like the biggest thing on the yeah, internet. A, so that's why she. Big meme. Yeah, and yeah. you don't need to give it a, an award to like. Honestly, yeah. In a I, way, I, you know. I'm trying to think. What, else then, what, what, what is the sense of the indie award? Kung yun yung ating, yung, ano? Yeah, the, I mean, I get why they do an independent games award because they want to like. It's it's also like good scouting for like oh this these are companies we can like fund or help. Uh, publish their games gonna that's what happened to Celeste because I was surprised when Celeste was nominated for game of the year I think that really opened the doors for other that. indie indie games I love that game too know, like after Celeste like, got nominated Hades got nominated the, the year after me, me and River and then now it takes two yung, yung, um, what's that fucking game A Way Out A Way Out yung, ano, why do you always Star forget Trek? the title of the game yeah. it's a bad it's not the most it's not good no, no, it's great. It's great. It's great. I love it. It's, I mean, um, it's, it's, a, title. it's a Shawshank Redemption <laughs> uh, simulator, the first part. Yeah, and then the, second the, part, the, the title exactly sounds now. made up. Eh? Like, it sounds made up. You know, way out. It sounds like a wrestling paper. That's not even the it's name, a, it's too. It's out. No Way Out is a cooler name, too. No Way Out, no, it's no, called no way out no way is a out. cage match, uh, WWE. <laughs> 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 it's, I think you'd like it, Adit. I think you'd appreciate that it. it's, uh, it's not in your face writing and it's like. It goes places, and um, it's like you know, it's like a P- if it just if it, if it was just a one-player game, it's like a mid-tier PS2 third-person shooter. But the fact that yeah. two-player kayo, it's just like you know how when you play a shitty game with a friend, it's even better because it's parang you're, <laughs> Elevate you're having yeah, a good yeah. yeah. I agree. It's that's it's a great a way time. to put it. It's a good time. I saw I saw a preview of that game. Eh? Basically, yung they recreate the lame parts of Emperor's New Groove, where you have yeah, to climb a wall. Oh my God, you're <laughs> right. That's, that really is. It was Emperor's New Groove <laughs> <laughs> part. Man. No, there's like a part na parang there's a part na parang Deer Hunter, I guess. There's a part na parang it's just it a bunch Scarface. of like yeah. They did, there's a Scarface um, thing. They but did the old boy that. in the in the hospital. Yeah. The ending yeah. that name, man. Like, you okay. choices. It was like, oh. Wait, I it has know. a lot of influence. Yeah. 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 But it, 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 dali naman. It's like, um, uh-huh. you know what? It's what Detroit become huge. Like, all of those parang super head, heady games. 
Mm-hmm. It's what it should be kasi parang it's not in your you face. Go, well, it's if your... you go too much into like yung parang um high-minded aspect, you kind of lose yung part of the kasi dito there's still like a really good story, pero then you also run around, you also do like a bunch of fun stuff. Yeah, there's like these random mini games. Yeah, yeah, that have no consequence. Well, I played I played Heavy Rain. That was just like really you're you're gonna walk around in a mall calling to your child. Yun yung yung gameplay aspect, and it's just parang it's dumb. It's like yung sa Metal Gear parang press F for respect. It's like it's just too much. Parang come on, just parang okay. games are for shooting sometimes. It's, you're not there yet. I mean, right. you, you still have to earn yung parang. Press F to console your wife who lost your daughter. Yeah, it's not. You don't need it. You don't need it there. They you don't just, need to yeah, yeah. You, if it's something super heavy, it has to be like uh, spirit terror. It's a whole thing, na yeah. mm. catered toward caregiving. Ganon. Pero if it's just para do a quick time event to like ano to like um talk back to your father who won't let you go take fine arts or something like that. It's like it's dumb. <laughs> Specific. But if it's but if it's something about you gotta run away from the cops and then you gotta choose like you like it's fun it's fun and then yeah. you put in in between stuff that para you're dumb but you're a cop or something like and it's oh it was charming it was like I didn't exp- I wanted to hate it but I had a good time. <laughs> Okay. I could, I could. Every there were always like whenever there was a moment where the game was being good, I could feel your surprise just uh, like while we're playing. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh this is actually oh. good. <laughs> like, oh, it's like subverting expectations, go hate, hating everything apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I'm happy, I actually. Happy now. Yeah, you oh, good. No, no. It, it, it literally becomes GTA, the two player at one point. It was so okay. fun. It's shooting people. It's like, it's like, I'm surprised at how many mini games are actually really good games on their own. Like it, it, it does driving well. It does shooting well. Um, yeah. So it's like a Mario Party with a story. <laughs> a <two player laughs> yeah. Level. Especially at the end. Yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> um, there's a good shooting part. It's like, but oh, they. Like, this could be the whole game you shoot. There's a part where you just, I uh, know, um, you walk around in someone's fucking house, in someone else's house, like a couple of fucking robbers, <laughs> and you're just like, inspecting all of your parts of the house. And then, like, if it was just any other game, it's like, oh, this is the boring part, and you're like trying to look for your key. But since you you have like a friend there, it's like, look at this fucking dumb picture. Look at this fucking radio. And we also played um. Played instruments we together. Play you can, yeah, we, yeah. We played instruments together. It was, it wait, was wait, wait. I say, what I know about this game, you are two ex-convicts escaping yeah. prison, and yeah. Yeah. I mean, what escalation did it lead you to play instruments? <laughs> like, like a fun, so you, fun. Es- you, es- you shawshanked your way out of prison, so okay. you're walking around in a country, like in the country, right? And then you have to go into someone's house. Because you and have to get rid you, of your prison clothes, so you have to get other people's yeah. clothes. So you break yeah, into so this you, old couple's house, and they have they have a, a piano and a banjo in their house. So even though you're on the run from the police, and at any second the couple that whose house you broke into could come back, you can take the time to let the other player get a banjo, and the other player goes on the piano, and then you can play music together. And it's like Guitar Hero, where like you have to hit the right button at the right time. Terrible! It's, it's so hard. funny. <laughs> We tried yeah, it, but I said we go and we stop now. Stop the stop music. This. Yeah, I, 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 I like the game overall. I like if you had to give it like a score, you know, if scores mattered, like what would you give it? I'd give it a. I'd give it a seven. You know, it's not. It's not like but oh, but it's also like it's a good seven hour uh, adventure. It's so friend, short but, too. Uh, yeah. We finished it in like three nights now. If it was longer, I would hate it. Maybe. Oh, okay, uh, well. you're you're stuffing so much. But uh, since it's like pika pika among experiences, mm-hmm. but oh, like uh, you know, um, you could sit down with a friend and finish it in one like one day, and 
you wouldn't feel like you wasted your day. Yeah, at, at least. Yeah. And you wouldn't feel like you wasted your money too. Because I, I remember I bought this game when it came out, like legitimately. Like I went to the store, I bought it with my cousin, and we played it that weekend, and we finished it over a weekend. And I, it didn't feel like because it was the regular priced game. It was around like, yeah, like almost forty dollars, which is like one k to two k. And it didn't feel like a waste of money because I feel like that's what people are forgetting. Now, just because a game isn't long doesn't mean it's not worth the cash. No, because like, like, <laughs> no, it's the same I mean, with movies. Like, like why are movies all like the same like price if if they have different lengths? I don't know. Some movies are longer and then cost more, I guess, but. Anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, pero may naisip pa guys. Uh, there are two games na mag intersect na yung gaming, gaming natin. Kasi nagbang na kayo ni Rivers sa isa. Pero I feel like may isang game which, which is cyberpunk na magka cross sec intersect yeah. na. Yeah. And meron pa isa. I'm sure you guys are gonna buy Elden Ring, right? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what when, when is that coming out? When is that Dude, coming out? I don't know. It's multiplayer too. We gotta freaking. Oh wait, can we do cross platform with that? I, Sony sucks, but like um, that's one of the things that I checked uh, listing for games on the Xbox. It's like I need at least to see if I could play Elden Ring, and then okay, it's cross-platform, and I'm, I'm gonna get it. Because because uh, I'm ready enough for Souls. Like it's been a while. It's been a year. I'm <laughs> still my... I'm still trying to go through Bloodborne. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to go through Bloodborne yeah, you know, and Sekiro. You, you know, you. Secret Sekiro, that got me. But Bloodborne, I finished, but I realized ko yung one thing that's missing sa Bloodborne compared to Dark Souls, yung weapon variety. It, yeah, it I'm point, using I the same really weapon tired. all the yeah. way through. Yeah. Oh, so, like, uh, Did you get the badass tombstone one where you can make it a hammer and a sword? No, I'm just using oh. the saw, the regular oh. freaking saw that becomes a longer saw. Yeah. But it's a good weapon, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that's why that's I never let go of it. That was the only problem with my game. Like, oh my god, this, this is it? He weapons? Like, yeah. I know this. Yeah, the weapons and your clothes, they stay the same almost yeah. all the way through because you never get anything good. But I, I get that that's not the focus. The whole focus is on like the reflexes because the game uh, is built on aggression because you have you heal when you get attacked and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, Elden Ring, though. I wonder, I, wonder, I wonder if, like, as you get older, you get. What are the prime years to be like a, a Dark Souls player? <laughs> like, Actually, like, I think... Like, oh, you know, reflexes go, man. I think if you played it younger, you... Like, kunwari mga... Like, nine years old. Hindi. Like, I think 16 would be the best time. Kasi, oh, yeah. Shit, You'd be like awesome. edgy. Sobrang metal. Yeah. yeah, sobrang awesome. Kahit ngayon, man. Like, most of that game is in an Iron Maiden photo album. Like, it's... <laughs> it rules, dude. <laughs> It's true, especially, especially Dark Souls too. Uh, yeah. Elden Ring is coming out on Feb twenty five, twenty twenty two. So that's pretty close. That's two you know, months from now. That's funny because like I don't know. Did you make demo? Have you played in demo? Andrew, is it on PS? It was a closed closed beta demo, so oh, like only okay. random people got it. Special it's people. It's way easier though. So it's like, it's we're not even gonna sweat it. I think. Yeah, that's why I don't like people like. Then you gusto us of Dark Souls it, it, for it to be harder. I don't get why people are like that. Like I don't. Weird. I mean, I, I like a challenge, but the fact that it's hard isn't the number one reason why I like it. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the number one character. reason why I like it. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, That's because you're a I masochist. Like, yeah. I kind of. I thought about it. Na parang, would I even like it that much if it was easier? And maybe, maybe not. I, I, I kind of think this in Dark Souls is like a Stockholm Syndrome. But you're in an it abusive be relationship. Because <laughs> I think, man, I, I like how hard the Calamite thing was. If it was easier, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have yelled so much in the uh, isolation tank. <laughs> but oh my god, I did it! <laughs> it's, just, it's fun to me. Pero like. That's a bad relationship with the game. So, like, I, I agree. I think, I mean, I you know, like Dark I'm, Souls playing, I'm playing Tetris Effect, and it's like, why? I, w- I was thinking, why don't you lower the difficulty yourself? Just para play on like the easier ones. It's literally RNG. No one's gonna get mad at you for like cheating on like Tetris. It's not even cheating, you know, right? I get, I get why now I'm lowering difficulty. 
pag normal kasi yun yung base experience eh. yeah. if you make it easy baka oh my god something like kasi parang hindi part ng game ano kasi man? Andren yeah. merong gamer score sa Xbox I need to get my gamer scores up okay <laughs> Have you ever done the? Uh, w- will you ever admit to like playing a game all the way through, and then at the end you just can't beat it, like the last moment, the last boss? So you set it to easy just so you could finish it. Have you ever done that? I I, I did that with Wolfenstein too, because that game is just okay. fucking hard. That game Dude, hard I'm a, I'm I'm at the part where you your head gets cut off and you're on yeah, the other person's body. That was body. awesome. That that's was so awesome. Fucking weird. That's, that's what so a great stupid. game. <laughs> so, and then you get Would to you pick like which this? body part. Yeah, yeah which body part <laughs> to. Why is that fucking jumper? It's both too easier than one. Cause I keep trying to start on two one. Two is harder. It's, like, it's harder than one. Two is harder. Two is, hard. two is way it's harder. Hard. I beat I'm one like no Colossus problem. Thing, but I get annoyed then. Well, you know what? I, I have it on the new Xbox. It's probably gonna be a better experience because it's just To be honest, I only laptop. played it for the story. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> so the story's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. If it only had the whatever they imagine more. If that would be the perfect FPS shooter, if it had the gunplay of Doom and that story. You know? Yeah, it's so it's bizarre great. that they yeah, put middle of the road into it. Shooting, you know, like it's not. It's, it's not the most amazing shooting. It's fine. It's not actually. It's just it's, too hard, it's, man. You it's die because easily. They they set up these moments where you're like, oh, you're an unstoppable Nazi killing machine. They like keep saying that over and over. But I feel so stoppable. I can die in like three shots. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm I'm fighting for my life out there. I don't understand. Like, yeah. they make you feel like like the dual wielding and you just yeah. die too. Like I am not a stealth player. I can yeah. I don't self in any video game if that's an option but i feel like i have to sometimes in some parts of, of wolfenstein because i don't want to trip the alarm and get ravaged by dogs and robots yeah. i think it's a situation of parang when i played that the you know, colossus is like it is too hard and not in the fun way but mm. like i'm dying <laughs> at least with at least with doom it's pretty hard but there are moments in that game where you feel so powerful yeah you, you know feel what? empowered yeah. i like you know, i like when it's like it, and that's why, Doom, by the way, that's oh. why Doom Eternal kind of lost a bit of that luster because it's so hard Doom Eternal. With the new flamethrower mechanic, I would just get... Oh, yeah, the flamethrower, like the grenade, and then yeah, there's yeah. like yeah. the blood punch, all these things. They added so much stuff. I'm enjoying it though yeah. still. I'm playing it every now and then. But, but yeah, it's I get, not it's the not, same. It, it lost its simplicity. They put so yeah. many numbers and different ammo types. I'm like, what is this? Oh. What is this bar on the upper left? I just want to punch demons in the face. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wait, the reason why I brought that up. It's original Doom, D, but it's like it's just yeah. this really well-designed game that you play through. And then in 2016, it's like yeah, you can pick up and play, and just breeze through the thing. Yeah, I think it's because they didn't they didn't aim to replace the original Doom 2016. They just wanted to make a new experience. I think that's why they didn't call it like Doom 2 or whatever. But yeah. Uh, the reason why I brought that up because I remember so vividly. It's a Shin Megami game. I I was playing Shin Megami Tensei um, Strange Journey on my DS. That game is... There's a really stupid part where, like, through the game, I'm kind of breezing through it because that's, like, the fourth or fifth Shin Megami game I played now, so I'm just kind of going through the motions. And the final boss does this thing... Um, I, I hate it when bosses can act more than once in a, in a fight, in a turn-based game. Like, what, what lets them do that? And Because there's this boss that, like, First, it'll remove all your buffs, and then it'll remove all the negative stuff that you did to it, and then kill you in one hit. So I just made it easy mode. I I grinded until nine, level ninety nine for all my guys, and then I still lost, and I just kind of won by luck after like several tries. Yeah. But I didn't feel any shame from that because even in easy mode, it was hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that's, know, I just... that, 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 that's the same thing in Persona Five, the ultimate boss. There, um, you're not gonna play it on the river, so I'm gonna yeah, say. Fine. The ultimate boss is the two twins. The oh, twins. they're the hardest the boss. Okay. Yeah, they're techni- they're the quote unquote hardest boss in the game. Dude, what God, pissed no. me off about them? Say <laughs> once both get half their what's the healer in yeah. that in that? But they only reveal it like halfway through the battle. Oh. and I almost threw my controller. <laughs> so fucking rude. Say, damn, that's so unfair. So you need to. Kill the other one first to beat actually beat the boss, and they have a one hit. They have a one hit kill spell. RPGs, 
Don't do uh, that. Just don't do but, the Kahila but, but boss. I, I, I get it in a way. This is the the hardest boss in the game. Like, just don't do like, it. It's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool. Like, imagine mo, na ka sa isang tao, tapos may biglang dumating na binandage yung kalaban mo. Like, fuck that. Fuck <laughs> mano, yung mano. Yeah, yeah. That pissed me off. Why would they do that? Para may ma- ulupong, tapos biglang mag-heal yung isa, tapos yung isa mag-de-defense. Oh, fuck those guys. Yeah, dude, naalala ko rin pala yung sa fight. You remember that Simpsons fighting game sa PS2? Which is terrible, by the way. The, the wrestling, the backyard there wrestling. Was, yeah, he's fighting game. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Fun. With the rain. Yeah, yeah, and Ned Flanders is the final boss there. <laughs> and yung superpower niya, yung, he he prays to God to get all his health back. I'm like, this is bullshit. Oh dude. my god, that's this so is funny. BS. This is BS. It was dude. such a janky game. Na parang it's so, I love that feeling. You mid 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 level game. Na sobrang floaty. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this only comes from people not getting paid enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like oh that God. Gundam Wing. Have you played that Gundam Wing fighting games with PS1? You, ano? Mm-hmm. Yung 3D I one? I know that one. The, the, 2D, the 2D one. The, the 2D, 2D one. yeah. I know that one. The 2D one was good, right? It was good because it didn't... Because every character felt slow. Because I'm going to reflexes. Ko, ah, yeah. I have a chance in this one. No, it's, yeah. it's like super power. It's, a, it's like... War machine. Like everyone's a war machine. Kung Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, yeah, and you and just kind of just march forward. And it's just good oh. sprites. In love. It's it's fun. By the way, um, what can you put on TikTok? Because they're fucking posting spoilers to the new Spider-Man Dude, movie. And I know, I know, start? I almost got spoiled. I almost yeah, got spoiled yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. I was just oh, like wow. scrolling, and then oh, that's a spoiler, and then I just tried to I scroll past. I don't even past. like knowing that Jamie Foxx is in the movie. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. And it's like so, January 8th ko pa mapapanood if ever. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I are you guys willing to watch like just a shitty like pirated copy just to get it over no. with so you don't get spoiled? I'm not a psycho. Or you want to keep it pure? I'm not, okay. I'm a psycho. I'm uh, see Rivers going to be like merong FB link dito papanoorin ko. <laughs> I'm going to drop it on like after this podcast, I'm gonna drop it in a in a group chat. Like, oh, here's like River. I don't want to ma- ma- be that guy. Gusto mo mapapurad yung copy na may dumadaan sa sinehan na may popcorn. Dude, <laughs> the reason why I say that is because when uh, Marvel Civil War came out, and then it was like the last full show of the first day when it premiered. Me and my brother got the worst seats in the cinema. I was like in the very corner of the screen. I love it. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not supposed to be watching like a shitty copy at this point. I can only see like, I mean, I can see the whole screen, but I'm like in the very corner, like the very very. Are you corner. are you really paying for to watch a movie? Or are you paying for like parang first day bragging rights at that point? No, it's not the brag. It's like saving myself from being spoiled. That's what I'm doing. I'm like, it's like I... an insure. It's like, dude, it's like mob money. They're like, I'm being threatened to like give money or else I'll get spoiled and. I have I have a similar thing. Experience. Like there's there's this boss that I hate. It's a first job go. I fucking hate him. Um and every time he would go to office now and there's like a movie that came out, he'd be like in a loud booming voice, but guys, when you're in the civil war, 98% is a rotten tomatoes, just fucking giving us rotten tomatoes. <laughs> and I knew because the Avengers was just coming out then. I knew that if he did that, I would never watch that fucking movie just because I'd be Hearing your voice yeah, every time Dalaba si Captain America to sell 80% just a rotten to me. Fuck you. So, like, I yeah, need like, to watch it immediately. How sad is your existence now? You watching a movie first makes you feel superior to other this, people. This I'm fucking gonna guy, your fucking self esteem. Dude, this fucking guy, uh, no, he read yung Wikipedia ng Harry Potter because he's an office mate namin was super into Harry Potter and he said, I think fan ako ni Snape kasi binasa ko yung Wikipedia niya. Gusto ko yung story niya. You fucking read yung fucking cliff notes and you're saying you're a fan. <laughs> Don't fucking kill yourself. Oh, okay. man. That's like I'm people actually... who watch Let's Plays and then they're like, I played the game. <laughs> I played all the Dark Souls games. That was me with Undertale. <laughs> Don't make pacifist run yung mga nasa fucking YouTube. I mean, to ah, be I fair, that was me with, that was me with like the Telltale games, like the Walking Dead Telltale games because like, it's like watching a movie anyway. Yeah, I'm actually excited for this new one because I'm a fan of like I watched almost every other Spider-Man movie. I'm the more of a fan of the Tobey Maguire one because I love Doctor mm. Octopus. Yeah, and yeah, I, I also watched both Venom movies, so <laughs> why not? 
Kasi, I don't know, I don't know, ano, I don't know, I don't know if this is a real interview for I saw like a meme, tapos parang, they uh, were asking si Jamie Foxx and then si, yung, the three villains, right? They're asking, why did he do it? And then si Doc Opta says, for the money! <laughs> yeah, he says that. He, he actually said that in the interview. I watched that one. That's funny. But he was well, like, he was like saying it as a joke. That's a he, joke. He said for life after Spider-Man 2, honestly. Yeah. Everyone. As much as I love the Tobey Maguire ones, there are a lot of quips. I have better than the money character in Spider-Man. Yeah. Whatever. He's a classic. It's the classic, I don't know, it's the classic dead go Spider-Man. So like, it's fine. Um, multiverse. I, I really enjoyed the Spider-Man Set, I just, there's only one Holland movie that I watched. It was the second one, and I super enjoyed it. I think I watched it twice with like people. The oh, yeah, the, 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 the Far From Home, where he's on yeah, vacation. Where he fights Mysterio. I, I, yeah, yeah. I like, I like it. That was good. I like, um, I like how charming everyone is. Like, yeah. It's like, I would watch a sitcom with just these people. So it's like, it's yeah, fun. honestly. They did a good like, job in making his life um, not boring when he's Peter cute. Parker. Yeah, and I also like Mysterio, like Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio oh, yeah. version. Yeah, like he, he was a Mysterio job. master of illusion, not yeah. a magician yeah. or something. They were cyber hackers who could control drones. It was really cool. They I'm modernized the Silicon Valley. <laughs> Yeah, and I like that all of like Tom Holland's villains are there because of Tony Stark. Like he indirectly caused all of Spider-Man's villains, and it then now he's sense. just paying like for the press. Yeah. yeah, I I like season I like how, para siyang yung cool na kaklase mo, na ate vibes ganon. Oh, I I like. I love she reminds that. me I didn't of. Know they um, were dating. Yeah, in real life, it tends to happen oh, too. Like yeah. the whoever the Peter is, whoever the MJ is, they like date higher up. Every night, man. <laughs> anyway, I, I made it weird. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, I finished the Miles Morales game. That that's another thing I did. Uh, that's um, not my Spider Man. Is he black? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> It's good. I cried. I cried at the ending. I think like they did a good job subverting expectations because I think they knew that everyone has seen Spider Verse at this point. So they're like, oh, okay, they're gonna expect uh, the, um, Uncle Aaron to die, but they changed it in in the game, and it's not really a big spoiler because this happens in the first few moments. But it's the dad that's dead. The dad is the one that dies, and it's Uncle Aaron what? who lives. Yeah. So they they swapped it out, and they so from there on, you're like, oh, what else are they gonna do? What else are they gonna change? That's just like Star Trek into darkness. Wow. Yeah. wow. Hey, you're not so long. The the soul soul time soul yeah. so what's your rule? Yeah. And they had to talk to old ass Patrick Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> they talk to yeah. Yeah. No, they didn't talk to. Was it Patrick it was Leonard Stewart? Nimoy. Yeah. Leonard, I Leonard, Leonard, Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's the first one. Anyway. No, two, that's the second. That's the second one. It's the first yeah. and second one. And then they just cured death. They, they had the cure for death. So there's no tension in space anymore because you can cure death now. And that's why those know. movies movies stopped being made. That was a good date though. Like date kami ni Karis into darkness. Every good date that I had was me raging at some nerdy <laughs> thing. But I said Hellboy. It's like this isn't the Hellboy I wanted. Why? Why? And then and eventually he's like, oh, I like it. I, it's fine. Mm. You guys watch any anime? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no. I, I, oh, you go first. You go first. Um, I watched one episode of Comey Can't Communicate today. I'm still, I'm way behind. I'm on episode three. It's, yeah. it's adorable. It's, it's as adorable as ever, but there's one creepy there part. There's actress for that. Oh yeah, there is, there is, yeah. She speaks like every now and then. But there's one creepy part that slightly turned me off, but not fully yet. Where there's this other <laughs> girl who has social anxiety, but she like is lusting over Comey, so she calls yeah. herself her dog. Yeah. And like, yeah. where is this coming from? This is supposed um, to be a wholesome... It's Japan heart, River. I know. It's, the heart. it's coming from Japan, River. <laughs> I know, but like, it just it just came out of left field. I'm like, oh, it's about making friends, this anime. It's about coming, overcoming anxiety, and blah, blah, blah. And it's just one girl this. who does like an ahegao face when she sees yeah. Comey. Uh, I don't know, I just... But I like, no, I still I, like the show. That just took I me... Wasn't... I was at the oh, hospital right. and I saw a dude with a Hengo hoodie. And nice. I thought he was the coolest guy ever. Um, 
you what if your that, doctor uh, came? What if you're getting brain surgery and your doctor came in and he was wearing scrubs Ahigao scrubs? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he's wearing Ahigao. Ahigao what do you think? What do you think? As like, ano, like a, as a as a licensed nurse, would you ever wear Ahigao scrubs? <laughs> Dude, I actually would, cause, cause I, by the time I was a nurse, I just wanted to piss everybody off so we're cool. <laughs> I, would, I would probably do. They do that too. Dude, you, no. you have porn, like no. all, the they doctors do. have like a face mask with the mouth, the Ahega mouth with the tongue coming out. <laughs> Can you imagine? That, that kind of no? ruins the moment though. Well, nurse, please, scalpel, stat, like the flat line of yeah. the I go face. <laughs> Wait, imagine going under, you anesthesiologist. Yeah, that's the last thing you see. <laughs> Source, you go out to say some bad news. You're like, I'm sorry to say your father didn't make it. He flatlined at 12:30, and then he has like this ahegao, like just face. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, you're gonna say we kept the uh, uh, intruding. Sorry. What? Um, oh, you you I, were gonna say something? Oh no, I just I, I I'm a fan of porn, and I see you, but I don't really like <laughs> ahegao stuff. That they they do the faces, and then you make weird weird makeup. It's a, it's a, okay. it's a, it's a hell of a time for porn. Like recently, I discovered ASMR porn, and it's like some of that stuff is like, it's very specific situations. Now, you run into an old acquaintance from your old work, and then you have sex, and it's like, it's like really sad dialogue because it's like stuff that, para, you know, to be honest, I've been really lonely a long time, and I really need this. <laughs> it's like, okay, I kind of uh, wish I didn't let you continue speaking now. <laughs> Oh, it's, great. <laughs> it's great stuff man it's like it's like it's like audio plays it's amazing i sleep so well anyway that's okay. at least you sleep well that's that's all that matters in the end what were you what, gonna say Andrew? what you were saying about i'm your dog and then like this obvious power fantasy about this girl is super hot and she doesn't speak and she's my girlfriend <laughs> how is that any less creepy than Parang? i was saying it was man. already creepy that's a, anyway <laughs> I'm gonna Andrew, I'll, make it say something, Andrew, quick, it please. <laughs> okay, uh, I watched this anime, uh, Nasa episode 5 now. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this in the last podcast. You know, uh, uh, I killed slimes for 300 years. Oh, now I know I'm this one, yeah. Level 99. Max level, whatever, yeah. <laughs> oh, so man, basically, alam mo yung nakakatawa na sa mga isekai genres like they don't even explain anymore why they they just die like hindi yeah. na importante yung reasons <laughs> why they die so you are you're a salary woman and you just collapse and die it starts off that hey, like that you just die of exhaustion thing? i think is that a different is, is there like more than one slime at isekai yeah, yeah um, there's so many i got i got, reincar- I got reincarnated as a slime oh there, there are different things there oh, okay yeah. So basically, you are a salary woman who just dies of exhaustion, and you get reincarnated as an immortal witch. So, Shempre, you want to take it easy, na? So all you do is like, okay, let me kill slime so I can have money. So basically, which is easy, though, I could just easily kill twenty slimes, and he keeps doing that process for three hundred years. So that's one you. day, that's you in uh, every game. That's you. Yeah, that's you yeah. in every JRPG. If you died, that would be you. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know what's funny? Kaya ka nung, okay, max level ka na. Patingin nga nung stats mo. And maxed out lahat. Tapos, try ko nga yung powers ko. Like, tapos, nag, nag, parang, gusto mag-conjure lang siya ng ice cube. Tapos, na, nag-freeze yung buong lake. Oh, malakas na pala ako. Oh, and she and, never used yung skills niya at all? Yeah, she it's never used skills. It's brute forcing it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And, and my point na, okay, nasira na yung peaceful life niya. So it starts there now. She amazing. easily took she easily took care of a dragon. Tas, Tas underling yung dragon. Oh so, yeah, it's basically that. You know, you know and why it, that happened? You know why this is happening? It's because of one punch man, no? Yeah, exactly. It's, right. it's yeah. May na, parang one one punch man nga siya. Oh. And I also watched restaurant in another world you know that mm, i heard that yeah. one i heard that was good <laughs> it's, it's another isekai right it's another isekai. yeah but ang, ang concept niya, may restaurant yung guy and it tra- travels to different parts of the universe 
So basically, yung first costume niya is a dragon then who just likes beef stew. So nilultuan niya ng beef stew yung dragon to take home. Tapos, ang cute doon, nilagay niya yung, yung beef stew doon sa mga treasures niya. May mga relics siya. Tapos nilagay niya yung beef stew niya dyan. Tapos yung second, yung second costume niya at a gladiator. So yung ano yan, yung, papatayin siya sa ring. So dami niya pinatay. Tapos bigla lang magta-travel yung door. Tapos pagkabukas niya restaurant. Tapos never pa siya nakatikim ng kariman. Tapos pinaktikman siya ng kariman. Para siya cooking master boy. Don't you, think, uh, no? Don't you think the anime is like made by really lonely people now at this point? Of course like, it is. It seems right, no? Of course it is. I'm yeah. not even, I'm not making Japanese a bit people. anything. Yeah, it no. really sounds like, because it's, it's like all of it's like salary men, salary women, yeah. obviously. It is losers. Yeah, it's, it's a fantasy the that they're playing. I always it's wondered not even this. It's like interesting losers, no? It's like one of the most basic. Like, yeah, it's, it's not even like. like it's a, just an average loser, yeah. yeah. Actually, like I think about it a lot. Like with these isekais, I'm like, why don't they just set it in the world? Why does it have to have this one person that dies? Why can't it just be a fantasy world? Why do they have to? And then it reminds you of like it kind of reminds you of like Assassin's Creed. Like why do they have this all these like real world stuff? Why well, don't they just go straight to the fantasy? I think so you can so, relate, uh, I guess. So you can yeah, relate. I, yeah, I, I, I get that. It, There's an outsider it's perspective. Isekai, it has to be like an escape. At least, yeah, yeah I, I get know. that. Okay. It's just yeah, otherwise, Creed it's just like, everyday life. It's someone, I, I was talking to someone, but you know, Assassin's Creed is just a power fantasy for people who like reading Dan Brown. It's just that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, That's it's that. Eh. And I, I read Dan Brown, like, too. I'm not, yeah. like, I'm not being snooty about it. It's like, oh, this is like just yung part that they're yung assassin. Since, uh, no, angels and demons and like, you literally become it. best friends with Leonardo da Vinci in the second game so like I think it is literally that <laughs> hey, yeah I was just wondering because <laughs> like I think about like a lot of animes already set in fantasy already so is it like so hard to like make it just be a fantasy anime instead of like someone dying and going to the fantasy world but I, I get that it's supposed to be like an outsider thing so you're, this is the viewer this is you and you're witnessing you know, the world at the same time. But there's also you know, an opposite of isekai. I go go red. I go. I don't know. I was just saying, but um, you know, that's the interesting about the Japanese stuff. Like they can just make something that's just pleasant, and it doesn't have to go into like any dark places. Not that others don't go up, but like you can just parang I made an omelet, and in your whole anime, right? But like yeah. if it's something like when it's a state and like spirit fire, it's like. This is pleasant. No, I'm crying. I don't like this anymore. It's like there's always that edge to it, you know. They can't yeah. just let it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's something I noticed. Yeah. Sorry, um, you were saying. Related to the dog story in the river. Um, yeah, it's kind of creeping up. But um, I read the V Live twice. Then uh, Momo, one of their members, then he said, Momo, can I be your dog? Can I be uh, Momo Shane dancing machine from twice? So yeah. How dare you don't know that? Pero... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Giselle. Even I knew this. Pero, pero he, she had she handled it pretty well. Like Momo, can I be she didn't get the context at first. Yeah. After a while, ooh, that was kind of creepy. So, ginawa niya nila basta yung mga damit ng aso niya. Tapos gumano na lang siya sa camera. Kasi kung basic sinabi niya kung kasya kayo dito, pwede kayong maging aso. Ah, uh, oh, that's so, clever. She, she actually no, I, handled that really I well. read this, I read Good this manga. Her. I read this manga na parang this guy discovers na yung dad niya is a VTuber. Yung crush niya yung VTuber is yung dad niya. Oh, I know this. I've heard of this before. It's really good, and then parang he's he's like, oh no, my mom's gonna be shattered, and then he finds out that your mom is like a lesser VTuber then who's like mad at yung dad VTuber niya without knowing that it's her husband. Na parang why does this guy oh. get so much likes? It's just probably some weird dude gonna, and it's really wholesome. I mean, I, I'm enjoying That's it. That's very weird. That sounds fun. But like, you- I was thinking, I was thinking someone should make a manga na parang. Can I be your dog? And then the guy becomes a dog because but he really doesn't like being like this hot person's dog. You know what? I think you'd be surprised there might be an anime about that. 
I don't know. We're like, the, oh, I was seeing a different. I was seeing like this really old anime where the kid's dog dies, comes back as a car. Bubu Cha Cha. Bubu Cha Cha. Yeah, Bubu Cha Cha. That's one of the best animes ever. You know, you know what's funny then about Bubu Cha Cha? There are cute moments though. You know, he he walks like you tire sleeve feet. He can just like. Yeah. yeah. Why like, can't he, he just the- drive? But he, yeah. <laughs> Why does he become a car? What I actually did, he gets hit by a car, right? Do you think the cars copied the design from Bubu Chacha? <laughs> Probably, yeah, because like the windshield Chacha. is the eyes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was kind of weird. He got reincarnated into a thing that killed him. Was yeah. that body oh, Bubu Chacha, I know, that's... Nga, no? Not really. He doesn't no, go to really. another world. Another world. That's a big thing. Not that's all. Oh, okay, that's true. That's what I'm telling you. Martin Lawrence's Black Knight is an isekai because he that's falls true. into the lake <laughs> and he's in, he's in medieval times. Yeah, dude, kinapi lang nila yung vision of Escaflo ni Wow, that's like, you know, sometimes people take a, like a dumb concept and they upgrade it. This is like yeah. taking an amazing concept and downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> so what if like vision of 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 Escaflone? Or take out all of the good parts and just put in Martin. Lawrence. Take all the robots. Yeah. <laughs> he's in. He's gonna die of dysentery. <laughs> yeah, boo boo cha cha. What are you ending on? Then then they realize that you're not. Whatever. That cartoon. The ending is ending they had an oil no? change. <laughs> <laughs> He had an oil change and he lost his memory. I don't know. That makes me sad. Um, <laughs> oh, I finished back. another show. I f- it's not an anime, but I finished Arcane the other day. Like and it? it is it is great. I loved it. I, and it's obvious that there's going to be season two because, um, not to spoil, but like it ends in a huge cliffhanger. But I like that it f- does more for the League of Legends brand than the actual game of League of Legends. It, it does like it's really deep like they talk like politics like the class divide privilege if you live in like a higher you know um, state than other well, people and whatnot I have a question about that isn't like Riot like a horrible place to work at? yeah but like <laughs> what is it I, I mean I know but it's like it's so oh, you know you know that's the thing it's like Animators also worked on it. It's not as if they work at Riot, but at the same time, it's such a weird thing when it's like I see your memes like let's talk about politics, bro. but it's also like it's it's, the, yeah, it's, I get you. I get you. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a hypocrisy there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get that's it. Yeah, Thomas, you just in the way that I was uh, playing Cyberpunk. Corporations, man, overworking. People. Oh yeah. This Meanwhile, <laughs> CD Project Red like yeah. cr- crunch their employees. Yeah, like it's kind of okay. But like you no, can't no. go back to your family and unless you do your, I know, your ray tracing for the scene where this guy is dying of overwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel about like uh, no, like Assassin's Creed. Like it's it's Ubisoft, like the corporation of video games, and they have these moments where like we gotta free our minds and like don't let big corporations take I mean, over. That's hard. Our freedoms. Yeah, yeah, Far Cry too, even more so. Like they have so many games where like the whole message is is not letting the the big man like put you down. Blah, blah, blah. But it's like it's so it's it goes so flat because it's just about fighting cool poses. You, that's what my nephew gets. But then he played super hot, and then he kind of he legit. I see him kind of get freaked out because like, when you finish the level and it's like hand over control, super. and it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, oh, dude, dude yeah. oh, Josh, hand over control now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it gets yeah, weird. The, end, you, I'm weird again, like ending was super hot. Where you yeah, realize yeah. those people in the Your background were asking. Yeah. yeah. They were, they were oh. warning you the whole time in the background. I, I, am, I appreciate it. I appreciate you that it's like textured and it's it's not, yeah. you know, it's not just power fantasy because it's kind of ch- challenging you, you know. So it's like, but it's great, you know. I wonder how your like how your nephew feels about like there are these story moments where you open like a block of text, and it talks about like um, subliminal messaging and 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 like are you really in control of your actions? Yet, like but he knows that it's not right. I think. He okay, and, I mean, yeah, about. we all go through that as like as like kids growing up playing video games. Like for me, the first one was Portal. That's still like the one that mm. shake me to my core. Where like wow, games can. Th- can cause trauma. 
for me, yeah, for, for in anime, for me, it was Akira. I watched yeah. it way too young. Honestly, I, it's I, so fucking fucked up. Like, I remember yeah. doon na si, si Ka- Kairi, yung girlfriend. Kairi, yeah. yeah. She gets Kauri. squeezed and her head yeah. explodes. Up, yeah. Dude, I watched yeah. that this year. I, I watched Akira for the first time this year and it's Whoa. still, like, fucked me up. So I can only I imagine. Wait. I watched it way too young. I didn't yeah, even no, get the ASM, message. Diba? The yeah, ASM. Jesus. You should read the manga, movie, River. You'd love it. The manga's really I know, it's good. expanded. Like, it goes beyond the ending of the movie. About right? it, but like, it's just, it's oh, also... yeah. I, I hear, like, even the yeah, the writer acknowledges, like, he loves you the know, movie, but, yeah. You know, you're weird. Well, because the writer and the movie director is the same. But, like, you know the funny thing? So, like, the manga is, like, a thousand. Like, sobrang daming pages. And it's, like, super thick. Yeah. Pero yung, yung origin ni Akira there is just one page pa rin. It's great. It's like it doesn't really try to expand your story now. Because that's not the point. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, and it's funny that the name of the whole thing is Akira, but he only shows yeah. up in like two or three scenes. Galing. The yeah. the manga has more of si Akira to be fair. Yeah, katalasan nga, mas na manga expands more than the anime. Like, no. do you guys get, still give a shit about Slam Dunk? They're still doing not the really. manga. No, no. It's done na, but the manga's done na. The manga's done, like, people are complaining, ugh, bit din, I read the fucking manga. Ang lamat, I don't know kung ba't ayaw nilang gawin ituloy kasi the it's ending, sabi ko na ending. Sabi ko na ending. Yeah. Go lang. Yeah, go. So they eventually lose to the, they win against the number one team in Japan. But since they were so exhausted after that, natalo sila after that. So uh... basically yun. And it's kind of sad. Um, Sakuragi... Sakuragi had a back injury that forced him to take a sabbatical for one year. So he didn't play basketball for one year. Si Mitsui, mag-graduate na siya dapat kasi third year na siya sa Japan. Nagpakikout siya. Binag- he, parang, he legitimately failed third year para makabalik ulit siya. That's not good. Grad- that's, not, that's not healthy, no? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's more than life than basketball. You're gonna be 50 and Don't then you're... ruin your life for the extracurriculars. It's not even college basketball. It's yeah, high school. So nagpaki out si Mitsui. He was dumb, but he's handsome. <laughs> oh. Akagi graduated. Medyo mas matalino yung ginawa niya. That's ang bago nilang captain si Ryuji, yung point guard. So basically, that's how it ended. You know. I don't know why need people need more of these people. Because like if you extend your lives, nila, it's gonna be sad. Because a lot of yeah. them did not go to basketball. Pro- probably nagbabenta ng isda si sa si sa or something. Sushi place. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know. I mean, there's new like, manga by the way. Nung gumawa nung sinam dam. In vagabond. Did vagabond right? He, that's yeah. not finished either. <laughs> it's not finished. I'm reading. I'm still reading yeah. it. It's, a, it's not finished yet. Yeah, I'm like a. Uh, yeah, but like I remember reading that and then the art, right? It's just yeah. it's just this deep but I'm gonna make everything look cool and realistic. Basically but, a samurai who just wants to fuck shit up. I like he's it. He's a real guy, right? He's he's based on like a real guy, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Wow, this looks amazing. I'm looking at the yeah, the, the, the panels. So detailed. He's, he's a great artist, good on. I think the reason that people don't wanna do a manga uh, anime na slam dunk, it's really fucking hard to animate that. Like, are you mad? Because it's fucking basketball, and it's like, yeah, I, I watched this Brazil anime. Time, yeah, there's this anime I watched called Dream Boys, it was also a basketball that anime. That was terribly anime. It is so bad yeah. because they they, <laughs> they cheated, they made the ball CGI, but the players are still 2D, so it's like they're it's so weird, like we're making them interact with this 3D object, and oh. it, it you know, they yeah, can animate well. Slam Dunk if they use the arc system in so Guilty Gear. They use that in anime, na, diba? Yung 3D. Yeah, like oh, the 3D, 2D. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's still hard it, to do, but like, it's a yeah, They did that with Beastars. Have you guys watched Beastars? Yeah, Beastars great. Yeah, they, how, it, how it looks, like how it moves, everything. <laughs> I, was not, I was not prepared. <laughs> I do. That's, a sad, <laughs> that's a sad thing, though. No? Someone told me, Josel Manood ka nito parang win, no? I don't want to watch something sad. I, I was not prepared to the interactions between the wolf and the bunny. They fuck, right? Yeah. They fuck a lot. Right? <laughs> they don't, though. They, they almost. Don't, they did it. They did it. They almost. Did. They couldn't. Was, he, his predator was, instincts yeah. kicked yeah. in, and he had to eat yeah. her. And then she's like, "No, don't eat me." 
fuck? This there is it's... the Zootopia party that we all wanted, the baguettes. <laughs> this is the Zootopia you <laughs> asked for. Uh, yeah. like, 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 it's not good when you have a fox in an anime. Like, it's just para indicative of uh, they're gonna make this <laughs> fuck. Uh, it's like Robin Hood. Dude, mm. I, I I need to watch Cruella because it got good reviews. Oh, I watched yeah. it. I watched it. When I first Rob saw the trailer, how could how could they make this dog killer sympathetic? Like, no, I they, just... they, the dog killed her mom or something, right? Yeah, the That's Dalmatians killed their mom. Yeah, they they pushed her mom off the ledge. That's how it begins. <laughs> And then it, she spirals. She becomes the Joker, but a woman. There and is not that's... enough weed to make that funnier. It's already funny. Oh, I so can make dumb. it funnier. I can reveal like the full-on twist if that's okay. Or you're gonna watch yeah. it. Yeah. No, it wasn't okay. actually like a no. It wasn't actually okay. Dalmatians. So the Dalma- it was just okay, the Dalmatians. The no, they did. They did push her mom off a cliff, but they were <laughs> ordered to do it. So then she found out it's not the dogs that are bad. It's the trainers. So her mom was the target the of an movie. assassination, <laughs> but I mean, the dogs are the assassins. And then um, it's like her aunt or something that like ordered the the hit using the the Dalmatian whistle that she uses to order the dogs, and they pushed her off the cliff. I mean, you know, <laughs> we get away car and buy Dalmatians. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. I guess it's like Maleficent, the man. But Maleficent is a fantasy thing, and then yeah, and, like, and like, and wait, wait, just Maleficent. Sorry. Maleficent is a witch, right? Which is yeah, a she's a fairy. Than witch someone thing. who wants to kill dogs. <laughs> Yeah, but, which is are, are, are a step cooler than a person that kills animals and skins them for their yeah. for their coat. You know what? Like, I say I watch one of Ron Dalmatians. Para ma bridge yung gap, they should also make an animated version of Cruella, so your kids can watch Cruella, the animated version, and after that, watch one hundred one Dalmatians, and then the kids will say, "Hmm, Cruella ain't that bad, no man." Like, why did you do that? <laughs> I just uh, imagine like a Cruella movie na para she's really old and dying na. And it's just like a great Did he die in. back sa 101 Dalmatians? No, she just keeps going to prison. Off? Oh, she was going to no, prison. No, she just went to prison, yeah. That's not even good either. Like you shouldn't send like an 80-year-old to prison. That's not a good ending. She's, I, know she's I don't know if she's 80. Dogs. Oh, come on. What, is she like 30? Yeah, like, she's like, she... ano, like a heroin <laughs> she's sheet just, or something? She, she looks like one. Yeah, dude, she shouldn't be smoking at that age then. Like, try I know. Her. Oh my god, she's it's... a crackhead. You know, actual. Twist. Yeah, I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. She's got like the bone structure of someone that like is going through withdrawals constantly. You know, River Giselle, I got a perfect pitch for you guys. Okay, okay. Or dark, tragic origin story is Jafar. Huh? Yeah, I would love that. I would love that. Huh? That'd be great. His rise to power, that'd be great. Actually, they they lightly cover that in the Aladdin live action movie where Jafar is Why like. Why are you doing this he, to yourself? <laughs> did you do you enjoy it, dude? The live action? No, I okay. well, I actually didn't mind the Aladdin one. It was okay. <laughs> it was surprisingly I heard it okay. Was middling, man, Will so Smith, like, Will why? Smith is charming. I can't deny the the yeah. man's charming. Like he was fun to watch. Everything else was kind of meh, but like, uh, Jafar is like. He says that he used to be a street urchin too, like Aladdin. He was a street rat too. But then, like, he climbed his way to success from, like, I forgot what he's, but yeah, they don't the flesh it out. So, Rasputin, like, right? yeah, like, he, he's a street boy, but then he he, so he becomes a guard. Then, as a guard, he becomes a general. Then, he, like, he like, worked his way up, basically, to get where uh, he is. I don't want to hear that's a good idea. People, right? No, but on the actually were good and then they became evil through like the you know, corporate ladder he yeah. played cyberpunk yeah. he's a corpo <laughs> yeah <laughs> he watched too many a joker movie buddy yeah he he back to back watched the dark knight I, and joker i would love that i would squad. love that na parang, like you know you know uh, i'll pitch something darker and no one wants um <laughs> you no it, one uh, no, no, notre dame let's follow him oh Listen, lord God. Mark one. No, can, no. He's uh, the most Lord unredeemed. Frollo. Yeah, he's Frollo. the most unredeemed. Yeah, Frollo. He's the no, most no, unredeemable. Let's, let's just make a movie about him writing a rape song. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hellfire. Hellfire. Shellfire. No, not shell. Shell hotness. No. 
rapier? What's rapier than that? He says like your Mike your Mike skin movie, has caused me to sin, something like that. Oh my like, god, jeez, yeah. But it's yeah. such a good good song. It's a great it's song. Like, I know. That does not feel like a Disney movie. I watched that like this year also, it's and it dark. didn't. It's yeah, it, I was like, wow, dark. Disney made yeah. it. They made it's it after like dark. Lion King or something. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> The fucking talking gargoyles barely make it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the gar the gargoyles were like an afterthought. They're like, holy shit, what did we make? We made like the most like anti church. Like, <laughs> Some, someone said, "Hey, some you guys forgot in there. to cast Whoopi Goldberg. You need a you Whoopi forgot, Goldberg type in this. <laughs> you forgot Wait, Whoopi to get... Goldberg is one of the no, no, the it's uh, what's it? Yeah, like you know, life is dark, but like oh. I just found out the okay. Timon and Pumbaa were like afterthoughts as well. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Because they okay. Nathan Fillion and that guy auditioned for hyenas, but they like them so much that they Nathan created Timon and Pumbaa. No, not Nathan Fillion. Nathan Lane. I'm sorry. Nathan oh, okay. Lane. Oh, I was so excited for a second there. It's the springtime for Hitler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's him. He's he's really good. Yeah, yeah. Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, and like, Germany. <laughs> I love that. Movie. All right, I'll just I'll, just to round off because it's para one thirty, right? I need to yeah. know your your guys' favorite Disney movies. I don't know what happened to this podcast. Oh, that's fine. I love Disney. I'm a favorite Disney show, dude. Disney Disney movies like uh, animated. I need you animated, man. Just so they. Like, uh... That's actually a really hard question because yeah, the. Yeah. The go-to one is like Mulan. That's like a safe answer for me. Yeah. But I actually, I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna... I have to put in Mulan then, to be honest. Yeah, but I, I want to. I like. Porridge. Yeah, I like Emperor's <laughs> New Groove. Emperor's New Groove is the one that I would. It. I grew up with that one, and and Treasure Planet. Those are like the big ones for me. See, me and Andrew bonded to Treasure Planet because they were yeah. like, "Oh, that's a hot cat." That cat was super <laughs> hot. Dude. Super oh, hot, yeah, dude. Man. And he had kids with a dog, which is weird. Interspecies. Yeah, I know. I know. They they were pushing the boundaries, man. Talk about talk about beast stars. They were like really. <laughs> and the guy from Glick played this gay robot. Who the fuck was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Martin Short. Yeah, Martin Short. Yeah, he's the robot. Yeah. That flamboyant robot. I barely remember that movie. Based, by the so way, so. But by the way, he's a Treasure Planet, dude. I really love that quote. So, Brom Paeji, how did you lose your arm from chasing the dream, kid? Uh, I really yeah. love that quote. That's a great line. He's yeah. he's my favorite yeah. villain. I think he's my favorite like Disney villain he's, overall. He's not technically a villain because he fucking became a nice guy in the end, which is unearned. Know, like, by the way, yeah. which is super unearned. <laughs> where he tried to no, kill everyone. No, he saves everyone. their lives. He saves their lives in the end. Okay, but he tried to kill them. Like there were people were he was shooting <laughs> he at them. He was yeah, di- he directly caused the deaths of several innocent people, yeah. But yeah. like he saved their lives in the end. Like and then his face was in the stars. Yeah. Wait, what are your guys' favorite uh, Disney movies? Um it's hard like, to I didn't like them. <laughs> that that's so yummy. Yung, yung Mulan, yung, yung bagong... Mulan, you live action. Kasi oh, I never, I didn't na, watch that. I dude, protected kasi, myself. Part that. Super, super politically motivated. Because my part na sinab ni Mulan na sa kanila yung West Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> just they're like, push you like quick. They're sailing to the West China Sea or South China Sea. Kamalagay Philippines yun, then like, they're 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 you know um, okay. Aladdin, okay. Aladdin for me. My oh, of that's a good one. one. Yeah. I had this I had a cassette tape. I love, I love yung parang pack your shields, pack your swords. You won't be bad, I'll be bored. I love that yeah. part. <laughs> May meme ako nakita ba Aladdin that made me real laugh. Yung mga sinuon ng memes pa na sabi nung sasabihin ni Jasmine no, doon kay Aladdin nung sasakay na sila sa magic carpet is it safe? Tapos may nagcom bitch you live with a fucking tiger <laughs> you're asking <laughs> if this shit's safe. Let me go laugh really That's hard. true. That's true. Uh. Dude I love so much Disney movies of fuck. I would go <sighs> Oh you know what? I, I'll, I'll add another uh, sorry I'll add another one. Sorry I, I interrupted. Uh, I wanted to hate 
uh, Lilo and Stitch. I was gonna bring up Lilo and Stitch, dude. I, I love that I, movie so much. I had much. a friend in college who kept doing yung Stitch voice. Oh, I love it, Stanley. Uh, and it just uh, fucking uh, ruined uh, the movie for me. He, he kept saying it constantly, right? And then see, yung, yung partner kasi Carice is like, you have to watch it. You, you, it's a good movie. And I started crying during the movie. It's a good it felt movie. Like, no, it felt like a, this secret Disney movie that I never watched. This is actually really good. Because I watched the cartoon and I hated the Stitch. Because he was a dick in the brown one. But in the movie, it's like, it's got things that I love. Like, I love outsider story, right? Like, he's like this fucking criminal, like, made to kill. But like, he's trying to be a good person. And then there's Elvis stuff. I fucking love Elvis stuff. And then the ending with the black MIB agent was amazing. <laughs> his name is Bubbles, too. Agent Bubbles. Yeah, like, Cobra Bubbles. That's his name. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like Marcellus Wallace. Yeah, that's a big yeah. name. Sports, so. Anyway, sorry, Andrew. I'm 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 pretty far from okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fall from okay, okay. I'm gonna get a couple of hard pop hitting black people. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is dude, the intro is so good, it's so unique. I'm hunchback because it, it starts mm-hmm. with Frollo talking about him. You know, it's about it's a story about a man. And a monster, and you would think yeah, that yeah. oh, it's you hunchback, you monster. But it, it was Lord Farquaad, yeah. It was fucking Lord Farquaad, buddy. I love that you call him Lord <laughs> Is this the origin of you, parang ano, yung love mo for the like, men were the monsters all along? All along. <laughs> you know, even, like, it's done to death, but it's so. Dude, good they sometimes. they do that in, in Beauty and the Beast. They do the same. It's the same message. Yeah, in Beauty it's and the, the Beast. same message. Oh, that's. Well, you know, because it, it well, because it's the beauty of the beast. It's someone who is salvageable, but he's not like a complete. Because he's rich and white, yeah. It's not Jeffy. that. It's, yeah, it's more like it's because it, it's Frollo is a fucking. He was trying. Frollo is a freaking a like he's a molester. A yeah, he was gonna drown a baby. <laughs> That's true. I, You're I, also right. re- I also read the darker, made dark. Because he's just a. True story, which is which was, yeah, yeah, by like they, um, the guy that wrote died. the name is Arab, the same yeah, writer. Yeah. yeah. By the no, way, he died like, and he was never friends with Esmeralda. She was horrified at him, and I think yeah, she yeah, died yeah. when she uh, something. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, see, white dude was also not a great person. Yeah, Frollo died then. Yeah. But I mean, here, Someone, your brother in law pointed it out that para si Frollo was technically right. It's a movie because people were bad. Okay. No, he was. He was right. Now people are not gonna accept you, and they did. Yeah, accept it's a press, press the well, moves. yeah, but that's because no uh, one, no one like wanted to like stand up for him. Like once they started, once Emer- Esmeralda started speaking up, like he, he's just a guy. No, people started to warm up to him. Shit at him. I throw a tomato immediately. <laughs> monster out there. No, I, would accept, I would be one of those people then just say, fuck this guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not as like, ugly as him. Yeah. <laughs> no, we wouldn't even know. It'd be like, oh my god, something's happening. I need, I need yeah, to join. Oh my god, they're throwing the tomatoes. Phone. You want to join? <laughs> it's all like throwing tomatoes. You don't even <laughs> know the context. <laughs> you think it's like a fun <laughs> thing. Favorite part of the retard strength. Like, they're not Look, the Hulk up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the it's it's a Bible reference. Didn't Samson think he was that? Samson? No, yeah. I think he just used the muscle on his on his hunch to break the chain or something. I don't know. <laughs> dude, he fucking dude, the guy, dude, the guy fucking crazy. like swings from cathedral tower to cathedral tower. Like he's buff as heck, dude. That's why he yeah, broke the know, chain. Dude, she would have got the girl to pinakita niya yoked body niya. What if you? Wait, 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 Paul, Paul. My abs, guys. Yeah, see, see, see. Quasi How ripped is Quasi Modo? Yeah. Dude, he, he must abs, be jacked. More like Quasi Modo. It's like you para para play dona tinner around. Like it's not good looking. It's like parang Mulan's porridge or something. 
<laughs> Stop. Why do you keep bringing Mulan's forage? It's the best forage ever. It, it looks really good. good. It has like eggs on it, yeah. like fried eggs on it. And when did you say the logo that has the best of Mulan's forage? Pa. Did you say this, River? Like basically yeah. after you, a girl worth fighting for. What are those songs yeah. after that? Ko ba yung sabi nun? No, there's a meme that's going around. I saw that then. Yeah. What? The half part of the movie of Mulan after like a certain song, there's no more songs afterwards. Yeah, yeah after the girl, yeah, because it gets real because the, the, the <laughs> yeah, that song. Fighting, and then there's a there's a doll and then a dead girl, and like oh, all okay. these like burning corpses, you know. and you're like, holy shit, this is China. You <laughs> so, my part not siguro di ba to Miguel sila? May mga people yeah. sa back or na kumakan. A girl. Or or a, a, yeah, yeah, wait, 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 oh my god. <laughs> You know, may may cut scene doon na she picked up yung doll tapos nakalagay doon made in the USA. Yung doll. Ate, just an mas maganda ko made, made, made here. <laughs> here. Why would you feel right? <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. Made oh, here. <laughs> the end. I mean, the end. Uh, only in China fireworks like really kill people. <laughs> Oh, I know. But to be fair, he hit the mountain. Like he, yeah, I know. That's true. Like he, basically, that's the equivalent of my first-person shooter games. You might more barrels where you just shoot <laughs> that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mulan saw the the yellow like um objective marker on the on the mountain. You know what river would be the uh, best after Mulan and the tapos sa diba and and China did nothing wrong ever again. Ever again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should make. They oh should make God. a Genghis Khan Disney movie <laughs> where they explore that he wasn't actually like, well, he was bad, but like, there were reasons. Dude, yeah, there that was... reminds me of my favorite Rappos Modern Life episode, see Mortimer Khan, young lesser known brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Genghis Khan. <laughs> Is this a purple been... deer or Mortimer something? Khan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yung parang nag, the translation they shot into a Ghostbusters thing where they got like, uh, exorcist toothpaste because they put it in the backpack sila. and they just squirted the whole house until they were trapped in Mortimer in the glow. That's it. It just ends that way. I love that. Uh, it's so that's fucking funny. random. Um, I know the ending of Genghis Khan Disney movie. It's like, it's just text na parang ano, uh, or and then there's a line that we all have a little bit of Genghis Khan in us. Kasi like genetically, sobrang dami niyang kinantot na babae yeah. na may all kind of yeah. Yeah. Maybe the real Genghis Khan was inside all of us all along, you say at the end. Tapos may mga iba-ibang ethnicities. Yeah, you see all like, we're all Genghis Khan. You know? It's weird with Aladdin, no? Yeah. It's weird with Aladdin. You think people would like uh, the Middle East more dahil ng Aladdin. You know? No, I mean they made him look so white. Like Aladdin's face is so westernized yeah, compared better. to like the <laughs> other Arabians. Yeah. They like hook noses and sunken he looks like, eyes. He looks Al- like a guy from Miami, no? Like Yeah, the Aladdin just looks like a, a spring breaker or something. And then see Jafar looks like, looks like the most looks like a, the, the Sultan is white. The Sultan yeah, is white. He, you know this that? He basically looked like a tan Zaf Efron. You see Aladdin. Yeah, he's the tan like Zaf. <laughs> You look at Jafar. Like, no, this princess? is an Arab. Who's Nasco the hottest Disney hottest. princess? Lilo. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say Lilo. <laughs> you Lilo. Me <laughs> I was waiting for Giselle to say Lilo. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Lilo. I'm. I'm <laughs> Stitch. Uh, <laughs> they do a sequel with Stitch. You know, I was. I was gonna mom. do. I was gonna do uh so little mermaid see Ariel, but uh well about like so now some blow jobs. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have a job. I don't I don't know. I don't love Ariel anymore as well. I think see Bell. Bell's hot. a good choice. Um I'm trying to think. I mean like Esmeralda's not a princess though. She's just a gypsy woman. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> the most racist thing you've ever said. It's what she calls herself. I know. She's a former yeah. spear chucker. No, <laughs> okay, just topping it up. Um, <laughs> the, Judy hops from Zootopia. There, that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> so small, man. 
<laughs> yung, yung fox uh, dog in the fox uh, <laughs> the old lady from the dog and the hound the fox and the hound yeah, whatever that fucking book. Yeah, seriously the, the, dude the duster from <laughs> that's, that's the dog the, the cat lady from uh, no. Treasure no, Planet. No, okay, none of them are princesses. Like, let's let's be real. None of them are princesses. Disney characters. Disney characters. Okay, then. just Disney characters. Well, that's Porridge is the hottest. Robin Williams from Flubber. Dude! Dude! <laughs> you guys are forgetting. I don't like this movie. It's the lower tier Disney movie. But are you Babai is a Tarzan, dude. To Jane. Jane! Jane, Jane, Jane is there, you there you go. Not. Tarzan's Definitely. mom? The gorilla? I'm just kidding, Jane. <laughs> also, yeah, but Jane, actually... Though. Actually, Jane, there's uh, you remember that Matt Damon horse movie, Cimera and Spirit of the Stallion, where all the oh, horses yeah, yeah, yeah. were hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were hot horses. They had, they had kiss me eyes, dude. They were like, they had the eyelashes. If I, like, <laughs> I didn't know horses built houses because they were they had bedroom eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How many furries came out of all of these movies, though? No? Dude, uh, uh, dude, you know what? I'll be honest. It started with Tiny Toons. Because I was a kid when I watched cool. this. Uh, so don't call me a pedophile. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I was nine when I watched Tiny yeah. Toons. And Crush Koi si yung, yung Girl Rabbit. No, yeah, I remember the one that's not Lola. Name. Yeah, it's, they had uh, different. They like Buster Bunny and yeah, other, Buster other Bunny names. Buster Bunny na ko. And then yeah. the Green Duck. And then the Pink. But they, that was a good show. That was funny. That's a good concept, too. Like, they were graduating to be the next Looney Tunes. That's a good idea. They should bring that back instead of making baby Looney Tunes. And then I love baby Looney Tunes. Is joking me? I mean... I hear the new Looney Tunes is good, though. You know, uh, it's I... Like... Uh, yung oh, yeah, I was going to say... Oh, no, sorry. I was going super quick. It's like Cuphead, though. The new Looney Tunes show. Anyway, go ahead. The animated... The animated version of Harley Quinn. Where she I saw clips. It's so fucking funny. It's so dark. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. It's I I, I watched the first season. It's really good. It's good. When she shoots the guy with it. the cancer gun. That was. <laughs> that made me laugh. I'm gonna watch that. it. Holly, oh, you God. gave me cancer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it's like he doesn't die immediately. It's like actual. He doesn't. Cancer. He just has cancer now. So he goes home to his family. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so I saw, sorry. It, it's a I cancer ray. I saw the MacGruber trailer. I love him line. Niya, parang, Let's go make some widows. <laughs> By the way, one last thing. So, right. yeah. about anime. Yeah. I watch uh, Inside. That's good. Mm. Okay. That's in, a good that's the hottest Disney princess. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the hottest Disney right? princess is the concept it's a, of joy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Netflix, not joy. It's not. That girl joking. was really hot. So, yeah. Inside. Inside, inside, inside is a Netflix show. It's kind of like Rick and Morty, but they paint. Oh, uh, the inside, like, like inside job. Yeah, yeah. I inside one. job. Yeah, yeah. So they, it's like the Rick and Morty pair. They paint the Morty, uh, the Rick there is an asshole. Talaga, na irredeemable so. It's good. Okay. It's basically a bureau of like yeah. government. They control agents. all the the freaking oh, conspiracy like theories, right? Dad? Yeah. This one kind uh, of. Uh, may some plot don na binuhay ng clone sila ng mga katawan ni Bobby Kennedy, and they had to hire back his assassin. <laughs> <laughs> See, to, he's a pruder. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. One of those guys. And, yeah, basically he was hired to kill all of the the, the Kennedy clones. It's good. It goes places, dude. Ah, uh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. I gotta watch that. That's on my list. That's on my list. I, I'm not even caught up with Rick and Morty. That's why I haven't really gotten. I really, yeah, I only watched the first episode. Well, I, I fell out of Rick and Morty. Yeah. I just want it to be done now, so I can just watch all of you. I just want the story of Rick and Morty. I don't want it like as a sitcom. You know what I'm saying? But the story, so I just want to know what happens. And, know, it's like, weird because like the last season of Rick and Morty was actually really good. Like genuinely, like great writing. They yeah. they broke conventions again, and then I, I don't know why. I just wasn't hyped for the next season. Which yeah. is weird because I know the show is good. I just I think I it's know. diminishing returns then. And yeah, I that's think true. It's, it's a situation of parang they have to keep it going instead of like having an ending. And it, I think, yeah. honestly, how, yeah, how, like it could. They might get to the traps of Simpsons. 
yeah. it could have ended at season four. That's how good it was. Like, yeah. yeah anyway, we probably should have went on. Um, so let's let's finish it up. This I, yeah. I had I had a great time, guys. Um, yeah, my said, face you know, hurts. Gaming gamers. <laughs> Um, you know, your fans, natin, they keep saying that para bring back the acronym for Maniacs again. So that was the best part. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding. No, there's no fans. I don't oh, have I the guess. energy to do that right now. I'm so sorry. No, I don't I'll plug one that. thing. I'll plug one thing. One quick thing. Go ahead. Uh, go to, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll watch this. I'll go to Red Oliaro's page. I have a show at Saturday. It's, for, it's just a charity gig. So I get no money here. Me and Red get no money. It's for a good cause. It's for feeding school children. Uh, Feeding school children. Wait, I'm calling bullshit. What are the school now? <laughs> wait, wait, it's feeding uh underprivileged children. Uh, okay. That's not true. Go. We killed all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus That's what the drug <laughs> war was for. Yeah, yeah. Um nakalagay sa poster, 99% of the profits will go to us, and a huge one percent will go to them. Yeah, so. Make the oh, one just a bigger font that way, you're like, oh, yeah. it's bigger, it's more. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. fun. When is that? Saturday? Is that when? Saturday. It's a Saturday. Saturday. I'm Red Oliera's page. T- yeah. Andrew's gonna show up and yeah. eight p.m. Rip shit okay. Up. All right. Rip shit up for underprivileged children who need food. You know. That's so I'm giving weird. back to the kids, but finally, <laughs> about time. Lilo, you fucking horrible people. Richard, nakaunahan eh no sa punchline. Even, uh, you, that's how you know the super uncle mode. Though. I'm not even thinking of like, what kind of punchline. Okay, good night, guys. Good night, Thank guys. You. Good night. And broadcast.